Alright guys, welcome to the fourth, or fifth, I'm not sure. I think fourth, fifth, I don't know. Whatever, doesn't matter. Um, this will be probably the last video. I'm making the add, subtract, multi, and uh, equals buttons. So, let's get started. So what we're going to do first is the add button. So if e dot get source. If I can spell it right. Sorry, I'm going to be hurrying because I'm just trying to fit it in. I don't really want to make another video because that's I'm just lazy. So now we need another if statement. If answer field dot get text does not equal no. So if there is something in it. It's going to do num1 equals double dot par parse double string dot value of answer field dot get text. So basically we did this before. And it's going to set add click equal to 1 and clear field equal to 1. Um, yeah, that's that's basically it for the add button. Um, since I'm lazy and I'm trying to hurry through this, I'm going to copy and paste this. So now we got to do if e dot get source equals sub button. It's going to store that in num1 and we got to make this sub click instead of add click. Um, now this time it'll be multi and multi again and one last one this will be div divide divin so it'll just be div, div so now we have that done now we're going to move on to the equals button so we're going to do if e dot get source equals 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 button that was rather redundant <laughs> equals 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 button if it equals 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 button jeez I feel stupid saying that but whatever it's going to store num2 as double dot parse double string dot value of answer field dot get text okay so now basically it's going to store that in there and it's going to set the text of the answer field dot dot get dot set text to answer field dot get text and then we gotta add some more if statements so it's gonna say if add click equals equals one it's going to do answer let's see answer equals num1 plus num2 num num num2 sorry I misspelled that very badly and it's going to set answer field dot set text to string dot value of answer okay I'm going to copy that so I don't have to type it again in the next ones whoa so and then it's going to set it's going to set add click equal to zero yes it's going to set add click equal to zero get rid of that backslash my bad now we're going to do the same thing for sub click actually just because I'm being lazy again I am going to copy this whole thing and I'm going to change this to if sub click equals that I'm going to do subtract right there and it's going to do sub click equals zero and then again I made another backslash I'm so so special 
and we're going to change that to multi and we're going to make this so it multiplies instead of adds I'm going to set multi multi click equal to zero and then we need one last if statement right here I think this is the last one div not div 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 and this equals div and then we also need the forward slash there for division and I think that is it. So I'm going to run this program and basically show you what we can do with it. So if we do 9 and we hit plus, and then we press 9 again, it equals, and then we get 18. If we do 9 plus 8, it equals 17. You can do 8 times 9, 72, clear it. Negative 8 times 9 equals negative 72. And the division works, but, well... Let's do something that's divisible by it. So 6 divided by 3 equals 2. And then 6 minus 9 equals negative 3. You can use the decimal tool, but see, you can't use it unless if it's already there. Alright guys, thank you for watching all of these tutorials. I am so glad I could share this beautiful program with you. Um, be sure to subscribe if you liked it, and I would love all of the feedback I could get. So thank you for watching. I will see you guys next time.